Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Happy So What Day. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a great day so far. Today is video cast day. So a little bit later on this afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be presenting our Countdown to Christmas video cast where we will be walking through this project that I have hanging behind me. So I hope that you have all registered for today. If you have not yet, there is still time. You can register up to the minute right before we go live at 2 p.m. on our education platform. If you cannot make it today at 2 p.m., you can register anyway and watch everything on demand when it fits your schedule. So by registering, you will get a free quilted wall hanging pattern. So you'll get the pattern for this circular wall hanging, including all the pattern pieces, directions, all that good stuff. You can put whatever design you want in the center. So it makes a really great project for a wall hanging or for your front door. You can do kind of a wreath design but make it all quilty and pieced and add machine or hand embroidery or a cross stitch design to the center. So you'll get this pattern for free by registering for the video cast. And then you get all of the presentation materials, the on-demand video, and you'll be able to, like I said, watch it at any time. So if you can't make it today, or if you do join today, and you need a refresher once your kit arrives, then you can always go back, rewatch, rewind, pause, all of those good things to make sure that you understand the project and get all of the how-tos. So lots of you joining in today. Thanks for saying hello. Appreciate that. Everyone is coming from everywhere. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> So thanks for joining, joining Ursula. Um, I have some fun things to go over today um, in addition to our video cast, but I wanted to go over a little bit more of the project. I know you can see it hanging behind me here, but let me see if I can bring up a little bit closer image um, so you can really see the project well. So here is the circular quilted wall hanging. And like I said, you can choose to highlight whatever design you want in the center. The cool thing about this design is it's a cross stitch design, but it's done entirely in the hoop of our embroidery machine. So you can do this in a fraction of the time that it would take you to cross stitch it all by hand. However, if you don't have an embroidery machine and you want to do this by hand, by starting now here in July, you will have plenty of time to get it completed in time to change out your decor for the holidays. So the other cute thing about this design is that it features this little magnetic marker. Here is the magnetic marker and you cover it with some fabric that also has a little snowflake embroidery on it. And by placing the magnet um, around that quilted wall hanging, you can move it across the calendar, noting the day leading up until December 25th. So it's a cute little idea, really um, ingenious way of presenting the calendar or, you know, noting the days up until Christmas. So I will be showing you how to create all of these things, how to do the cross stitch by hand, how to do cross stitch on your embroidery machine. Um, honestly, it's way simpler than it might seem. We're gonna be embroidering with heavyweight thread. So it's 12 weight cotton petites. I'll give you some tips for how to set up your machine for embroidering with this heavier weight thread, needles to use, um, all kinds of machine settings to ensure success. And there is also metallic thread. Whoops, wrong image. <laughs> There's also metallic thread incorporated into the design. So we will be working with the Sulky Hollow Shimmer. Isn't that cool? 
I love this thread, especially for the holidays. It has this kind of rainbow hologram effect to it, and it's a flat metallic thread. So it's a little bit more challenging to use for machine embroidery, but I will be, again, giving you all the tips and tricks and notions and products that make it easier to sew with this specialty thread so you can have these really awesome thread effects with your design. So here is a picture of the kit that we are offering with the video cast today. Now, you don't have to get a kit to attend the video cast, but we put it at a great, great sale price. So honestly, you really can't go wrong. You get this high quality art gallery fabric. If you are familiar with So What, then you know that I love art gallery fabrics so much. They just have the greatest hand to them. You can tell they're high quality fabrics. You will get all five of the fabrics featured in the project that we're doing in this brand new collection called Snow Day. And just double checking. Yes, it's called Snow Day. And they're all coordinating in this you know, blue and green and teal color family. And I really love that look for the holidays. Um, you know, even if you go the more traditional red and green route, um, you know, these kind of bluish colors take you all the way through the winter season. So I really love this kind of color scheme for the holidays. You get this super duper strong magnet as well to use for your magnet marker. And then all of these spools of thread. So this includes the cotton petites as well as the hollow shimmer and a spool of 50 weight cotton thread that we will be using for the piecing and the quilting. So tons of thread included in the kit as well as a pack of Sulky Totally Stable. Totally Stable is a really unique stabilizer and I don't know that I've ever seen anything like it, honestly. It's a fusible tearaway stabilizer. I know, most of the time you can only fuse a permanent or cutaway stabilizer, but this fusible, you actually fuse it very lightly and then after embroidery, you're able to tear it away. So the fusible is not permanent. Now you do want to make sure that your iron isn't too hot um, and that you don't fuse it for too long. You're really just doing like a tacking fuse. Um, and that way, you know, you can easily remove it without, you know, a lot of struggle. But on the quilting cotton, it works great. Um, it stabilizes it very, very well. So there's no puckering, um, no shifting of your fabric in the hoop. So I'll be showing you how to use that today. And here on So What, that happens to be our giveaway for today. So for one lucky viewer watching today, uh, you will be able to win a pack of Sulky Totally Stable so that you can try it for yourself. Now, again, it does come with the video cast kit. Um, so make sure you are commenting, putting your questions in the chat, liking, sharing today's post, and you will be automatically eligible for the little gifty today. All right. So just a couple other things we will be going over during the video cast. I will be showing you how to, you know, not only work your way through this entire pattern, but we will be insetting that circle into the pieced border. I'm kind of calling this the donut part of the project because, you know, you're creating this donut and then we'll be insetting that circle inside. So this can be a little bit of a challenging technique for some. I'm going to give you a lot of tips and show you live on camera how to put this together. That's right. I will be sewing it live on camera. So wish me good luck <laughs> that I can... Uh, coordinate three cameras and so at the same time, I think I can do it. So um, that technique is really helpful for a number of quilting projects as well as this uh, mini wall hanging. So um, if you've ever tried to inset a circle, 
you know it can be a little bit challenging, not only um, to make sure you don't have puckers and that type of thing, but to make sure that your piecing is lined up where you want it to be on the calendar. So, um, you know, this calendar definitely has a direction to it, right? We want December to be nice and centered within our outer pieced donut. So I will be showing you how that all comes together. So give me a thumbs up if you've registered for, day, for today and if I will be seeing you in a couple of hours. Um, I'm ex super excited about this one. We've been working on it for quite some time to bring it your way. So I think you will really enjoy it. And, ag and again, whoops, here is everything you get in the kit. It is at just a steal of a price today. Um, it is only $39.99. I mean, uh, uh, honestly, I don't know how Sulky can be so generous with the $39.99 with all of these great fabrics. You know how expensive fabric can get. So it's really great to have these pieces in the right sizes that you need for the project. You don't have much waste, but there is still a little bit left over if you want to make like some matching little coasters um, or a, you know, mini mug rug to kind of coordinate with your calendar. You'll have some little scraps that you can work with as well. All right. So some other things I wanted to share with you because it being the countdown to Christmas video cast, we are going all in on Christmas in July. And I know it's super crazy to think about Christmas when it is the dog days of summer and it's so hot in so many places here in the U.S. Um, I mean, man, it's, it's difficult to think about snow day and <laughs> Christmas coming up, but if we can get a head start on our gift li lists and our gift making lists, you know, it just makes it that much easier to work it all in to everything else we have coming up, um, you know, leading up until Christmas. So we have some great new things at sulky.com. Um, in addition to our great holiday themed thread samplers um, and thread assortment bundles, which you save quite a bit of money by grabbing an assortment pack. And we have curated these color families that will coordinate with the fabrics you're going to use for the holidays. So we have red and green themed ones. We have thread palettes that go with machine embroidery collections. Uh, so you'll have all the threads that you need. You don't need to go diving into your stash and realize oh no, I'm out of all of these greens that I need for this design collection. You can get them all for a really great deal and get some embroidery designs included as well. But I digress. In addition to your project needs, we also have some great gift ideas that are already made that you can grab up for your sewing friends. You can put on your list. I know it's always difficult for me when my family says, well, what do you want for Christmas? You know, I can never think of anything on the spot. So, you know what? Why not just create your own list and say, here are some things you can get for me that I would really enjoy. So, I have another great box that has come from Sulky that um, I get to show off here. So, I want to start off with some really cool embroidery blanks. Embroidery blanks are one of my favorite gifts to give for the holidays because they're so easy to do sort of assembly line style. You can grab a set of towels and put different designs from the same collection on them. So you have a coordinating gift for, let's say, a group of friends, your coworkers, your, uh, you know, bunko friends, your neighbors. They all get something kind of coordinated, yet they're all different and personalized to the recipient. So I love using embroidery blanks for that reason. You can grab up a machine embroidery palette and then use that collection on a set of embroidery blanks. We have flower sack towels. We have gingham towels, which are really hot and trendy. We've got some uh, linen towels with fabric bands. Um, just really, really pretty stuff that you can um, do rather quickly and easily. You don't have to worry about 
doing the entire project from scratch, but you still have that handmade touch to it. So I love it for that reason. Another thing that we have new, which we always offer embroidery buddies. Does everybody know what embroidery buddies are? They are stuffies that are specifically engineered so that you can hoop them easily or get them onto your hoop. So they have strategically placed zippers so you can get all the guts out of the stuffy and embroider their little tummies. You can um, add embroidery to um, the little side of some of them. So we have a lot of these embroidery buddies um, on the site already. We've got dinosaurs and teddy bears and great ideas for kids. But what's brand new, and I love so much because it's so hard to find something for the little bit older kid or the boys in our lives, right? Well, now they have Embroider Buddy little footballs and soccer balls and hockey pucks that you can embroider and personalize with the recipient's name or maybe their favorite team. And these are just great little pillows. Um, I mean, my son would just love these. So we've got, like I have, the football here. Here is that soccer ball. And then a hockey puck, which the hockey, this is the top down view of the hockey puck. It has quite a wide border around it that you could also personalize but you could put their favorite team on top and then maybe a monogram, something like that. So these are really great ideas to do for holiday gift giving or really any gift giving. If you've got a summer birthday uh, coming up that you need to make something for, great, great idea to grab up, um, you know, these embroider buddies. Okay, I also wanted to share one of my favorite stuffies that has been added to the mix. And, oh, I've got to get it out of the package here. You guys are going to love this one. Oh, it's so soft and fluffy. And they all have little names. I, I'm trying to figure out where it's written, but they all have little names. They come with a little tag that say, this was embroidered by so-and-so. You can add a little message here. So cute. I mean, don't you love this guy? I cannot wait. So cute. Look at his little feet. I mean, I know. I'm in love. So you could add a little design to the front tummy to personalize it can add a name or a monogram, like I said, and really make this like the cutest gift. I just love it. So cute. Okay. So I wanted to share those with you. There's a number of other new ones on the site. So you can head over to sulky.com. I also linked to the Embroider Buddies um, in the description of today's post. So you can head over um, you might have to click the little see more button so that all the links will come up for today's post. And then you can easily shop around and find all of the great new embroider buddies that are available. So a couple of other things, you know, I mentioned great gifts for your sewing buddies, sewing friends, or for your own gift list. Um, how many of you out there have been doing puzzles during this past year, I know there was a big puzzle craze when we were all quarantining at home. And at my house, we have kind of continued uh, that that activity, that trend, if you will. And, you know, a great thing to do is a puzzle swap with your neighbors or your sewing friends. And that way you don't have to go out and keep buying all these new puzzles, right? So we have gotten into the habit of we will finish a puzzle and then we will trade one with a neighbor. So it's a really great idea. But what we have at Sulky right now is this puzzle, which of course I am in love with because it's all kinds of sewing notions. 
Um, and all that white space, it's going to be a little difficult to finish that one. But this makes a great gift. You could package this up with some new sewing tools, um, something like that. But super into the puzzle craze. And um, I'm, I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm glad that it's making, it's not really a comeback. I guess puzzles never really go out of style. So uh, this is a new one up at sulky.com that you can find. Some other cute things, so many cute things to share with you, are these little magnetic signs. You could put a picture on here. You can do a little bit of a mood board on them in your sewing room. Maybe you've got your fabric swatch and a little bit of the thread that you're going to use. Um, maybe an inspiration photo of the project that you're going to create or portions of your pattern instructions. You can uh, put up there with some magnets. The magnets are sold separately. Um, so this one says so. We also have one that says quilter. So these are just super great kind of rustic style that you can put in your sewing room. Um, or any room of your house, really. But I really like the idea of using it as kind of a mood board or to keep your pattern pieces kind of corralled or pattern instructions. Um, so really great for that. We also have, <laughs> I know it keeps coming. It is like Christmas in my sewing room, for sure. We also have these cute little shelf sitters. So um, ways to jazz up or decorate your sewing area. This one says my sewing room. So cute. You could put this on your front door or, you know, the door to your sewing space um, or just hang it on the wall. Um, it has a little dowel hanger that comes with it to also stand it up if you want to put it on um, just a table. Um, or stabilize it for your shelf. So it has a little hole here and you put the little dowel inside so that it can stand on its own. So very, very cute. Great gifts for friends. Um, I got a shelf sitter similar to this uh, for a secret Santa gift one year and I still have it. It's so cute. This one says, sewing is my superpower. Isn't that great? And then of course we have our so what sign. So I need to get this up on my wall next to my other so what sign. So we have a number of options for cute wooden signs. This so what over here comes in this teal color. It also comes in pink and we have some other sayings as well. Come sew with me things like that. So absolutely love these. And this one's really cute. Happiness is a full bobbin. Isn't it though? I mean, so I hope you all enjoy those. Grab one up while you can. We do have limited supply of these guys. So um, I'm thinking they will go fast. I also wanted to mention that some of these items that I have been talking about today will be on sale starting tomorrow and going for um, almost a week. So we will have a big Christmas in July sale for you to look out for at sulky.com. So uh, make sure you come on back for all of those sales. But for today, we've got... Um, all of our video cast products on sale, um, including the kit I was showing you for our countdown calendar. So in addition to this being on a great, great sale, we've also got Totally Stable on sale. We've got the Cotton Petites, the Hollow Shimmer. So every pretty much everything I was talking about associated with this webinar is already on sale now. And it will be on sale until midnight tonight. So when you join one of our webcasts or video casts, you get great, great deals on the Sulky products. But you do need to be sure to register because then you will get some reminders letting you know about the sales and when the sales end so that you can be sure to grab those up. Um, and 
you know, take advantage while you can. We've got some organ needles on sale. Again, I'll be going over the type and size of needles that you need to use for uh, embroidering successfully with the heavyweight thread. Um, and then you could see some other cute notions I have behind me. I keep showing off this iron because quite honestly, <laughs> it's like my new friend in the sewing room. Um, she's just so pretty. We have a violet color, a turquoise color, a pink color, and a yellow color. So you can coordinate with your sewing room decor or just, you know what, grab up the color that you like. Um, this also makes a good travel iron if, uh, you know, if you're going to start traveling soon um, or maybe you already have, this makes a great travel iron because let's be real, the irons in the hotels um, are less than desirable. <laughs> this is a really great high quality iron that gives us off some good steam. It also comes with this little silicone trivet that you can store it on. Um, so you could see I have my little ironing station set up for the video cast today. I have my wool pressing mat. Absolutely love these. It's kind of like pressing from both sides. Um, even when you're just, you know, pressing from the right side, it'll give you some good heat retention on the opposite side. So you're kind of cutting your ironing in half. Um, makes it really easy to set up a little pressing station next to your sewing machine. You can piece and press and piece and press without having to get up and move around to your ironing board, things like that. And then of course I have my little cute, I love quilting, a uh, little project pouch. So I will be putting the threads and needles that I need for today's project for the video cast so I can easily say, okay, this is what I have compiled to use for the project at hand. So I'm trying everything I can do to stay organized because I have 500 irons in the fire, like I'm sure you all do. <laughs> and um, I got a tip from someone else on So What? And they said, you know, they have a little container. They actually got it at uh, sulky.com. It's this, oh, sorry, I'm sure that was loud. It is this cute little, Thimble, it comes in rose gold or gold. These are at sulky.com. And they put the tools that they need for the project they're working on right now. And then when they move to another project, they will swap out the tools if they need to. So I got the great idea of having several different project pouches and then labeling them for the project I'm working on. So that way I can work on, you know, five different projects at once and I can just grab my I Love Quilting little zipper pouch or I can grab my other project zipper pouches. We have a number of them at sulky.com that have really cute sewing motifs on them. You can also get a jute zipper pouch and embroider it. Um, we, we've got those blanks too. I mean, there's just so much to talk about. I don't even know what to focus on at this point, but at any rate, creating a project pouch that goes with that particular project, then you can kind of have little stations um, and try to keep everything organized. So if you have more tips about organizing your projects um, or just organizing your sewing space, I welcome them because I'm really trying my hardest. Um, if I gave you a larger camera view, you would see uh, all the craziness that I have going on right now. But like I said, it's video cast day today. So I have a number of different cameras set up to do our live streaming sewing tutorials. Um, if you have not tried one of our video casts before, I highly suggest that you give it a try because if you're watching So What and you are craving a little bit more information or that real time sewing, that's where you can get it is at our education platform, which is sewingonline.sulky.com. And once you add something to your cart, even if it's a free webcast, you need to add it to your cart. Then you create an account and anything you add to cart will be added to your own personal library on our education platform. So that's why we do things over there rather than here on Facebook so that you have record of everything that you've interacted with. 
So if there's a freebie, an embroidery design, a pattern, something like that, it is also stored in your library on those event pages. So you don't have to download everything and figure out how to store it all on your computer or you know what you named it, what you called it, where it lives. Um, I have that problem with embroidery designs. You know, in three months, I remember that I want to go and use something and I have to figure out where I saved it, what it's called, where it lives. So it, it's really great that you can go back into the education platform and just grab that download again or resave it um, if you happen to lose it as well. So there are a lot of benefits to using that education platform above and beyond just giving you a really great virtual experience. Uh, we have a live chat functionality. So while I'm doing the demo, you can be asking your questions similar to what you do here on Facebook, um, but you can also chat with each other as well. And it's just a really great time. So today's video cast is a 90 minute presentation. Like I said, if you can't join for the entire time or if you're unavailable at 2 p.m., you can always access any of the information for the video cast on demand through the education platform, but you do need to register in order to be able to take advantage of that. So, all right. Chris says, I would love to have one of those thimbles. So cute. Well, lucky you, they are available at selkie.com so you can have one or like I said, add it to your wish list and kind of slyly slip that off to your family. <laughs> okay. Denise just got one of the mini irons, the same color. I, I'm in love with the mini irons. So another great thing about our video cast, which, you know, you know, when we do so what we always do a little gift. Um, I already mentioned that the totally stable is the gift for today. So if you're interacting with me here today, liking, loving, giving me those emojis, putting in your comments, questions, and most importantly, liking the Sulky Facebook page, you are automatically eligible to win a pack of Sulky Totally Stable. But during our video casts, we have great door prizes. And, you know, during our free webcasts, you have to be present to win. But during our video casts, anyone who registers is eligible to win a door prize. So even if you can't make it and you have to watch later, you could still be chosen as one of the winners. And the door prizes um, go up in value as we work our way through the video cast. So we have over $200, if not $300 of prizes or yeah, door prizes to win today during the video cast. So um, registering is kind of like grabbing up yourself a lottery ticket really, because um, there, there will be great things to win. All right, Chris is wondering, how do you register? So there's a link to register in the description of today's post. Like I said earlier, you may have to click on that little see more button so that you can see the link to register. It'll take you over to sewingonline.sulky.com, right to the registration page. You'll fill out your information. And as soon as you add that to your cart and go through the purchase process, uh, you will have an account on our education platform uh, so that you can begin to build that library. And then you can go and kind of shop around and add some free legacy webinars to your account. We've got a few digital patterns up there that you can add as well. Um, so that is how the process works. Do they email if you won a door prize? Yes, we will email you directly if you are a winner. Um, we get in touch with you after the live event ends, after all the winners have been chosen. Um, so that's how you will know. Betsy wants to know how large the Christmas countdown project is. It is approximately 16 inches in diameter. So I know it's a little deceiving that it's far back here on my wall, um, but you can see it's larger than my head. <laughs> so hopefully that gives you um, a little better, better idea of the size, but it does make a great, you know, front door hanging 
um, or just wall hanging anywhere. All right, Marilyn says, I have a thimble and it is full all the time with stuff that I use all the time. I have so many different, I have a flower pot, I have the thimble, I have um, another little container that I keep right next to my, uh, right next to my sewing machine. So I have all kinds of containers too. <laughs> do you ship to Canada? Yes, we do. So if you have an international order, um, you'll go through the purchase process and then your shipping will be calculated. Uh, so it's a little bit confusing, but as you work your way through your order process, um, then they will email you the, um, the estimated timing and your shipping charge. And at that point, you need to basically accept it. Um, and then your order will be processed. So um, if you have any questions about that too, you can contact our customer service team. Our 800 number is 800-874-4115. Um, you can also always email us at info at sulky.com and we can, you know, discuss your, your shipping, uh, situation. Does the kit come in other colors? It does not. So right now we just have this blue, green, white, um, kind of colorway going on. So this, uh, like I said, this collection is brand new from Art Gallery. It's called Snow Day. And that snowflake print that is in the center of the wall hanging, actually all of those snowflakes look like little cross stitches. So it really goes with the theme of the cross stitch style machine embroidery design. So I really love that about it. And the, the um, whitish fabric has a little bit of blue droplets of snow on it. Um, and then there's little mittens and hats. And then the snow day scene is what I used for the back of the project. And let me just show you that a little bit closer up. So this is, let me get rid of this image. This is the back of the project. And you could see this is the back of my magnet. So the front of the magnet and the back of the magnet. That's how you would move it across the work. But this is the cute little snow day scene that is on the back of the calendar. And you can see my quilting lines here. We will also be going over how to create custom binding. So we'll be learning that technique as well today. And I do get a number of questions from people asking how do they start the binding and how do they finish it? So I'll be giving you some uh, real-time live streaming instruction for how that works. All right. Lots of people saying pretty fabrics. So I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. And again, that art gallery fabric, it is like buttery. I There's no other way to really describe it, but it is just the best feeling fabric. You will love working with it. So great for embroidery. Okay, just making sure I don't have any more questions that have come in. Michelle would love to try this product. That is fantastic. I think that's the totally stable. It's really unique to have a stabilizer, again, that you can fuse, but also tear away and it goes away entirely when your embroidery is complete. Um, I It's just a fantastically innovative product. So again, I'll be showing you how that works today. Amy, I have the same problem. Same. My bigger problem is searching through machine embroidery images. You get down this rabbit hole of, you know, oh, I would like a cute little snowman design. And then all of a sudden there are thousands of cute little snowman designs. So I feel the same way. So this is a very large scale uh, design we will be doing today. You can see, you know, like I said, the finish, the finished thing altogether is 16 inches in diameter. So you can tell how large this design is. It does come in two different sizes. So if you have a smaller hoop um, than the one we will be recommending today, 
you, uh, your design will go obviously smaller in the circle. So you can either uh, do more quilting around it, um, do some free motion snowflakes would be really cool. You could do an end to end quilting design um, as kind of a background for this um, and just eliminate that stitching, um, you know, along the center of your work. Or you can just simply adjust the dimensions of the pattern and make it slightly smaller to fit your little bit smaller calendar design. Um, and like I said, if you don't have an embroidery machine, we will be all, all, I will also show you how to do this by hand. So, um, you know, this is cross stitch done on quilting cotton fabric. So I'll be showing you how to do cross stitch when you don't have the Ada fabric to count um, and to do traditional counted cross stitch on. So um, lots of things to be learned this afternoon. I just noticed a thread that I haven't clipped. The struggle, struggle is real. I love using these little snippers for clipping my embroidery jump threads. I just think they are the best inexpensive. We have them at sulky.com as well, but you could see they have a little bit of a curved tip. So when you are snipping those jump threads, you don't run the risk of accidentally clipping into your fabric because it has this curved edge to it. So I absolutely love these little squeezer snips. So I'll just clean that up so that it looks all great and perfect for everyone today. All right. Okay, so I'm going to keep things a little bit short today so I can make sure that all of my cameras and everything are good to go for 2 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you register so you can join us um, a little bit later today. And, oh, Betsy wants to know what size hoop. Um, so the design comes, like I said, in two different sizes uh, for an 8x12 or a 6x10 hoop. So you cannot use a five by seven for this. You can try using software to make it smaller, but quite honestly, those cross stitches are going to get so, so tiny and we're using that heavyweight thread. So I really recommend a larger hoop for the design. All right. So Denise, thank you. Thank you all for joining me today. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it a little bit simple. Make sure that you go and re oh, look at this, DIY lounge wrap. I almost forgot to talk about this. So this is our next summer sewing session. So if you wanna keep those sewing or those summer vibes going a little bit longer, while you are registering for our Countdown to Christmas video cast, you can also add this summer sewing session to your library. This is an on-demand session, much like we did with our Dini pouch for all of the, you that joined for the Dini pouch, which you can also register at any time. So these are not live events, the sewing sessions. They are longer format courses that really dive in deep to the project. This particular one, you will be learning how to draft a pattern to fit your figure and then use it to create lots of different lounge wraps using different fabrics, different modifications, different embellishments. So it's really gonna be a go-to pattern for you that you can use for, I mean, so many different looks. So this is available to register for today. The session is active on August 2nd, but by registering early, you will save $5 off of your registration fee. So important to register before the session is activated um, so that you can save that $5. And then you'll be notified when the session is active and available for viewing. So lots of things that are new and things to sign up for. So uh, thank you all for joining me on today's So What? Please remember to register for today's video cast. So I'll see you again at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, Karen has signed up, so she is ready to go. Awesome. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next week for another edition of So What? And I'll see you over at sewingonline.sulky.com in about an hour.
Have a great rest of your day, everyone. And again, I'll see you next time.